welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you a what's in my fridge. This idea I got from Brittany over at the Coco channel. She did one, gosh I feel like it's been like a month or two now almost, and I wrote it down because I thought it was really fun. I'm super nosy. I like to see what people have in their fridges and stuff. That's part of why I watch grocery hauls to kind of see like what people have. What are they buying? What are they eating? And so I thought you guys might like to see this too. Today is Thursday, the day before grocery shopping day. So it is kind of empty. There is some things in there. Um, probably some things that need to be thrown away. I don't know. Um, I also wanted to mention that Missy over at The Wilder's Wife also started doing these, I think last week was her first one. I think she's going to do them every Friday and kind of show like what they eat every week. I'm not going to do that every week because just I don't really want to show what's in my fridge every week but I thought that was a really cool idea to do it every week so if you haven't checked out Missy's video I will leave that linked down below as well and if you are inspired by me doing this and decide to do one as well let me know in the comments down below a link to your video so that I can check it out now we are going to get into my fridge if you are new here this fridge I've had I think since July it's a hand-me-down fridge from my brother he moved into a new house and it already came with a fridge. So this fridge was just sitting unused in his garage. So he was like, I'm gonna give you a fridge for your birthday because our old fridge was a very small fridge. I think the manufacturer year on the bottom of the fridge was 1988. This one is 2009, so like a major upgrade. But that one was like leaking water into the fridge and the freezer wasn't the greatest. So like most of our frozen stuff would go in our little standalone freezer, which I'm gonna show you guys that as well. Um, but yeah, this was the greatest hand-me-down birthday present fridge for my brother ever. As you can see, we keep a lot of stuff on the outside. Magnets, drawings for my kids. We keep it pretty messy over here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we keep inside. So, here is the fridge. Up here, we have our big thing of cheese. From Sam's Club, it's missing the plastic piece here, so I like to keep this here because nothing will fall out with that there. Uh, I think there's only one more thing in there. Uh, and then behind it are some Chick-fil-A sauce, some ketchup and stuff, little restaurant condiments, and then we've got some Parmesan and Romano cheese. Down here is pickles. We've got pickled chips. This is a pickle container, like a Tupperware container, and it has the baby dills in it. We've got pepperoncinis and jalapenos. Down here we have ketchup. I've really been liking this Great Value ketchup. A bunch of people recommended it that it tastes like Heinz and I taste tested them side by side and really couldn't tell a difference. So we've got that. We've got some Dollar Tree pesto that we really like. Sour cream. This Eat barbecue sauce. I use that in my runs with stew. Some mayo. I'm not picky about mayo. Whatever's cheap. Dijon mustard. Regular yellow mustard. Some Moore's buffalo sauce. We really like this. We've only eaten it once, but we really liked it. It was hot, but not too hot. Some chicken dipping sauce from Walmart that tastes like Chick-fil-A um, sauce. Okay, we'll move into the other door. Up here is where we keep our butter. We've got lots and lots of butter. We buy it at Sam's Club, like four things of it at a time. So I just take it all out of the boxes and stick it in here because it fits better with it not in the boxes. Down here we have some teriyaki sauce, this submarine dressing, which is really good on salads as well as just like sub sandwiches, some lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce. And I'm not picking on anybody, but it is Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Sure. Like the word sure. Like, think of how you say New Hampshire. It's not New Hampshire, it's New Hampshire. So, Worcestershire sauce. Minced garlic, Sweet Baby Ray's bar original barbecue sauce, this veggie broth stuff concentrate, and then back here, some Aldi Clamada olives. Moving down, we've got some grape jelly. Kikoman is the best soy sauce, so we have some of that. We're almost out, need to pick some more up. Some strawberry preserves, Texas peach, some traditional salsa, 
Oh, look at this. More Sweet Baby Rays. Maybe we should put those together and uh, use those. Some chocolate syrup for chocolate milk and some ranch. So that is everything in the doors. Up here on the top shelf, we have some orange juice. Andy likes to take these in the morning for work. Um, just as a quick drink, but honestly, these are not great. Um, they don't they don't taste as good as like this does. And um, it's those like shelf stable orange juices. Sometimes they just have a weird flavor. So these ones have a weird flavor. He's finishing them off, but I won't be buying those again. Those were from Sam's Club. He said he'd rather me just buy the single, like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, the Donald Duck orange juice at Dollar Tree. That orange juice is good. So I'll probably just pick those up for him because they're a dollar a bottle. We got some cream cheese icing back there and some baking soda. Some lettuce that is starting to go bad. Probably should throw that away. Some Greek yogurt. A full thing of eggs and the supremely spicy hummus from Sabra. This is the one that me and Andy agree on. Um, he would prefer red pepper, I would prefer garlic, but I don't feel like buying two hummuses, so we settle on supremely spicy because we both like this one. I'm just not a big fan of red pepper, red pepper flavored anything. We got some go-gurts over here still, some leftover Chinese food uh, that I need to eat. This was orange chicken from our favorite Chinese place, and then there's some fried rice in there too. A leftover pork chop and green beans from the other night. Milk, orange juice, uh, strawberry lemonade, like a teeny tiny bit of this lemonade, which we didn't care for. This is leftovers from last night, which is Cajun chicken pasta, which we're going to have for dinner tonight, so I just left it in the pot. Some classic applesauce, some cinnamon applesauce, some Kool-Aid jammers in the strawberry kiwi, heavy whipping cream, my cold brew. I will leave my cold brew coffee maker link down below so you guys can check it out. I will also leave my video for how I make my cold brew link down below. Here's a half a bottle of wine, Moscato of course back there, and then... This sweet cream cold stone creamer is really, really good. And then recently we got this Brita water filter. We've really been loving it. Um, my only complaint is you have to like fill the little reservoir twice to fill the whole thing up. So I fill it, let it run through, and then I fill it again and then it'll be completely full. Um, that's my only complaint. It does take... It probably takes a minute and a half to two minutes, so really not that long to filter everything in the reservoir, but that's my only complaint. But we do really, really like that so far. So that is going to be linked down below as well. And here we have a couple strawberries left. Those will probably be eaten between now and tomorrow morning when we go shopping. They'll probably eat them for breakfast. Some blueberries. If these don't get eaten, I'm probably going to freeze them before they go bad. So that we can have them for smoothies. We've got some grapes and then two plums that need to be eaten. Over here in our veggie drawer we have this green leaf lettuce that is still excellent and haven't even opened that yet this week. Radishes, I've eaten like two of them. And then some green pepper that probably, yeah, needs to be thrown out. That's gross. Um, celery and most of a cucumber. Yeah, let's throw that away. Down here is where we keep cheese and there's going to be a ton of cheese in here. We'll start over here though. We've got some sundry tomato halves, a little bit of lobster, some crab meat, bacon, which we buy at Sam's Club so we get three at a time, and then some sausage. Then we have some hard salami, some feta, some Fritos bean dip, mozzarella, mozzarella unopened, parmesan, some ham. Over here is where we have the slices of cheese that we are currently have open. String cheese, sharp cheddar, two sharp cheddars open because why? Another sharp cheddar unopened. 
queso quesadilla cheese, which this is the Kroger one and tastes like just like the Walmart one. We've got some block cheddar, more string cheeses, a block of mozzarella, a thing of biscuits, and some cream cheese, whipped cream cheese spread. And that is the cheese drawer. Can you tell that you like cheese or like to have lots of cheese options on hand? So that is it for the fridge. I will show you the freezer down here and then we will move into the standalone freezer. Okay, here is our freezer. We've got a bottom drawer and a top drawer. And it does have an ice maker, but because of where the fridge is positioned in our kitchen, it'd be difficult to run a water line. So we just have ice cube trays. And of course, I'm lazy and I use the ice and forget to fill them up. So we currently have no ice. We have an ice pack for a lunchbox, frozen watermelon, frozen guacamole, some frozen orange juice concentrate, a little tiny vanilla ice cream. This is Andy's favorite, frozen lemonade, lots of popsicles, and a chocolate chip ice cream sandwich from Aldi, a disgusting smoothie that Lily insisted she keep in the freezer and she has never eaten yet, so we should probably throw that away. That's pretty gross. Here, take that. Uh, no, put it in the sink. We've got some frozen cauliflower, frozen bananas. If you didn't know, you can take bananas when they start to brown and just put them in your freezer until you're ready to make banana bread. So we've got plenty of frozen bananas. We've got more frozen watermelon, some frozen strawberries that are kind of freeze dried. We've got some peaches and some frozen cherries. All of this I use for smoothies and then some tea bags. And then in the bottom, we have an ice pack that I use for my back or Andy uses. This is a nice pack the kids use when they they bump their heads. We've got extra crispy french fries. These are delicious. My sister actually left this here. Jamaican style jerk chicken patty. She bought this at uh, Dollar Tree. I know that she likes them. I have never actually had one, but she left this here by accident when she went shopping with us. This is my bag of yeast to make bread. We've got some corn on the cob, some broccoli florets, some lean cuisines, a spicy beef and bean enchilada, and an orange chicken, bean and cheese burritos, a little bit of frozen corn, and a little bit of frozen lima beans. I use those in my Brunswick stew. And then some more frozen broccoli. And then I already said that one. We've got hash browns. We've got some diced ham, another lean cuisine chicken parmesan. These Totino's pizza rolls, you can make them three meats. Some chicken bites from Sam's Club, guys. We don't care for these. Um, me and Andy will eat them, the kids will not eat them. They're so intense on the pickle flavor. They do not taste like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets do not have the pickle flavor. They taste more like a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, minus the bread. We've got some Krispy Crowns, some Kringle fries, and some nuggets. As you can see, we have lots of bags of potato products that we need to clean out of our freezer. So that is it for this freezer. I keep most of the like non-meat stuff in this freezer. Over here where the fridge, this is where the fridge is supposed to go, but because this fridge is so huge, it will not go here. So we moved the mini freezer over here with the microwave, the trash can next to it, and this little space. And I think we're gonna put shelves across the top. And uh, Elijah just opened the freezer and something fell out. Okay, so the thing that fell out was tortellini. And then down here we just have massive ice packs. So all kinds of ice packs in the lunch boxes. And yeah, just all kinds of ice packs. Probably more ice packs than we need. Down lunch. Okay, back up. So we have some chicken. This is frozen pulled pork. Back here with the orange lid, that is some frozen taco soup. And then these are all of our ground beef we got on sale the other week. See the ton of frozen lean ground beef because we have those. And then we also have these. These are the ones I got at Sam's Club and bagged up. So one, two, 
three pounds of ground beef there, and then three, four, five more of the lean ones. And then this is all chicken, chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast. And then as I said, that was pork, and then tortellini that fell out. And then up here we have some steakhouse flavored pork from tenderloin Kroger. from Kroger, yep. We've got these from Kroger. They are Alaskan cod tenders. They're ancient, ancient grain breaded. So we're gonna see if we like them, but we picked up two of them. They were $2.25 on Markdown. We're probably gonna use those as like a lunch when Andy is off one day. This is some uh, spaghetti sauce with meat that I froze in this bag and it's like stuck to the plate. So I have a plate in my freezer because that is like stuck to it till I decide to make it. We have some like, crispy chicken strips. These are great for lunch or um, salads. And then we have some turkey bacon and lots more popsicles and a freezer that needs to be defrosted really, really bad, but I haven't done it. And yeah, that's everything in my fridge and freezer. If you like this video, please make sure you leave me a thumbs up down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!